Day at school. It was Frank's first day of school in the strange town of nowhere. As he walked through the school halls towards his classroom, his mind raced with worries. What if the cafeteria didn't serve pizza squares like his old school did? What if the library didn't have his favorite books? And, worst of all, what if the other students didn't like him? Frank shook out all eight of his legs and all four of his arms, trying to calm his nerves. For their first activity, the teacher told the class to sit in a circle and share something special about themselves. One student knew how to juggle, another could say the alphabet backwards, and another performed a perfect cartwheel for the class. Frank became more and more nervous as each student shared. Everyone seemed so sure of themselves. When it was Frank's turn to share, his mind went blank. The whole class was looking at him, and he couldn't think of anything to say. Can you run really, really fast since you have so many legs? One student asked. I bet you can juggle too, another student suggested. But Frank couldn't juggle or run very fast. And in that moment, he couldn't think of anything special about himself to share at all. That's okay, Frank, the teacher said kindly. I'm sure there are many special things about you. You can let us know when you're ready to share. Frank blushed and looked down at his eight shoes. When the bell rang at the end of the day, Frank packed his bag, feeling glum. He wanted to be special, and he wanted to fit in. Most of all, he wanted to go back to his old school. Then, a perky student holding a stack of flyers came over to him. You're Frank, right? I'm Penelope, she said cheerily as she decided which one of Frank's hands to shake. Tonight is our opening night for the school play. A group of students have been working hard on it all summer. You should come. Frank tried to smile. Penelope seemed to notice that he was feeling down. The first day at a new school is hard, she said. But don't worry. Everyone here is really nice. And the cafeteria serves noodles on Wednesdays. Do you want to sit at our table tomorrow? Before Frank could answer, another student came skidding into the room. Penelope! She squeaked. Rolly accidentally knocked over the can of paint on stage, and now the whole set is ruined. Stay calm, Bertie, Penelope said. I'm sure it's not a complete disaster. Let's see what we can do. Penelope turned to Frank. Want to come along? Penelope seemed friendly. So Frank followed her and Bertie to the theater. So much bright yellow paint was splattered across the background. Frank could barely make out the painting of a castle underneath. Okay, I was wrong. This is a complete disaster, Penelope said. Rolly hurried over to them, yellow paint still on his fur. What will we do? He said breathlessly. Tonight is opening night. We don't have time to fix it. It was then that Frank thought of the special fact he would share with the class. I love painting, he said quietly. Penelope and Bertie looked at him with surprise. Frank held up all of his hands. What time is the show? He asked. Six o'clock, Bertie said. But we still have to get into costume. Don't worry. I can handle this. I need four paintbrushes and all the paint you have, Frank said, cracking his knuckles. Bertie and Rolly looked a little doubtful, but Penelope gave him a trusting nod. They thanked him and hurried away to get ready. 
Then Frank got to work. He had just finished when he began hearing the sounds of the audience entering the theater. He gave the set a satisfied look, slipped out from behind the curtain, and hopped down into the front row to watch the play. The play went perfectly. Penelope, Bertie, and Rowley's performances were spectacular. When the curtain dropped and the cast took their bows, Frank was on his feet cheering for his new friends. He felt proud to have been part of it and happy that he had met some friendly classmates. When Penelope, Bertie, and Rowley spotted Frank after the play, they rushed over to him with big smiles. Frank, the set is even more beautiful than it was before, Rowley said. You saved the play, Bertie added. Thank you so much, Frank, Penelope said. We're so lucky you're here. Come meet the rest of the cast. That night, Frank went home feeling confident that he had everything he needed within himself to handle whatever the next day might bring. He felt even better knowing that his new friends would be there to help him too.